I, yeah, I don't even like talking about it. Can we move on to the next question, please? <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tia Mori, and this is 25 Things You Don't Know About Me. The weirdest thing a fan ever sent me would have to be an engagement ring. What do you do with that? There was this, you know, long letter that came with it, and they were twins. And so not only did I get an engagement ring, so did my sister, and they were identical. <laughs> no, that's so weird. I have to share. Okay. The, okay. So the most embarrassing moment I, I've ever had was, do you guys remember that group Shy? And what is, and if I ever fall in love. So they sang that song. And if I ever fall in love. My brother was working on this show called Out All Night with Patti LaBelle. It was about music, the show. So a lot of uh, singers and acts would come on. And Shy was on. And so, you know, I was a huge fan of Shy, and so I was like, when I heard that they were gonna be on set, I was like, mom, 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 can I go on set? Can I meet them? And then she was like, yeah, sure. So I remember, you know, getting dolled up. I had on this jacket, and so I had my hand in the pocket, and as I released the hand to shake one of the members of the group, feminine, feminine need fell out <laughs> on the floor. It's like, oh, okay. Not gonna pick that up, but uh. <laughs> I'm Tia, nice to meet you, and I'm on my period. <laughs> oh my gosh, the song that I like to sing in the shower, of course, anything Beyonce. I am obsessed, and I love the song, Who Runs the World? Girls. Who Runs the World? Girls. Who Runs This Mother? Who Runs This Mother? <laughs> My first celebrity crush was Michael Jackson. And some people say I married him because my husband looks like Michael Jackson when he was young. You know, during the whole Jackson 5 era, like I had this poster, right? It was the poster where he had the Jerry curl. And this was in my playroom, okay? And I would kiss it. <laughs> you know how when you kiss a poster, it bubbles up? It was, it was like it had little bubbles around the lip area of Michael Jackson. I never got to meet him, um, but he's one celebrity that I've always wanted to meet. I know this sounds very cliche, but I would take my husband, my son, and my daughter. Because with him, I know I can survive. Uh, yes, cookbooks. I love cookbooks. Some of my favorites would have to be Giada. She's amazing. You know what, what always stands out to me is Goonies. I love that movie and even when it's on now, I will sit and watch the whole thing as if I've never seen it before. You want a candy bar? Guilty pleasure would definitely have to be red velvet cupcakes. I could eat them until I get sick. <laughs> I don't know if this is quirky, but I burp a lot. <laughs> I usually tell people, it's, it's not even funny, like when I work with them, you know, if I'm working on a television show, I'll be like, sorry guys, like, I'm just gonna let you know right now, I burp a lot, and you know, I'll, I'm polite about it, I'll say, excuse me. Oh, my gosh, Beyonce. I literally, it was her first tour with Jay-Z, but I remember going backstage and seeing her, and oh, my gosh, I was like, Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with you. I was like, I'm Tia. She's like, I know who you are. And you know, I had met her several times. It's like as if I never met her before. It's so weird, but I just love her. And um, I acted like an idiot. <laughs> the Alchemist. I'm just a true believer in omens and signs. And just when I read that book, it really taught me to just focus on the simple things in life and know that you're not in this or on this journey alone, that there's someone out there, whether it's God, whether it's angels that are just giving you little signs along the way. My favorite cooking hack, mm, my spiralizer. I love that thing. It's just really cool, it's easy, and it makes 
any type of vegetable that you're spiralizing look beautiful. I would definitely have to say some dried herbs and spices on hand or on deck in your pantry, should I say, and McCormick, their herbs and spices are amazing. My biggest pet peeve is racism. I can't stand it, I think it's ignorant and across all boards, you know, 